when it comes to nursing, you can open the book, you can read the instructions, and basically do what it says to do step by step, and it would help someone live. I think it takes a special person to help someone die. My name is Claudine Jones. I am a registered nurse and case manager for hospice and community care in Rock Hill, South Carolina. When I first meet a family, I'm meeting them under very emotional, distressed circumstances. How would you rate that neck pain? I would say about seven. About a seven? Just your presence means a lot to the patients and the families. You won't be here tomorrow. Only if you want me to come. You want me to come by just to check on you? Well, you can just call, make sure I'm okay. Absolutely. Once they become comfortable with me, it's more like I'm, I'm their friend or their confidant rather than their nurse. I'm Sharon Shepard, RN Case Manager with Hospice and Community Care in Rock Hill, South Carolina. Paul, it's Sharon. How you doing? From day to day, I go into primarily nursing homes and I take care of the patient's needs, pain management, symptom management, provide one-on-one -on -one visits and uh, help them with any coping. Anything you want to talk about? Anything bothering you? No, nothing bothering me. I think compassion is a very key element in what I do because if you didn't have the compassion, I think you would just go in and it would be much more mechanical and you wouldn't have that really good connection with your patient. Well, you're looking mighty spiffy today. My name is Frank Grabuski and I work as a bereavement counselor with hospice and community care. When I'm visiting a gentleman who I perceive as having been a strong, competent man, and he just lost his wife of 50 years, and crying is not a behavior that's familiar to him, or a lady who's just lost her best friend, I really feel compelled to make it easier for them. You haven't stopped hurting, have you? Not yet. I don't know how long it'll take, but you know it'll take a little while. It'll take however long it takes. Compassion to me is being able to relate to someone's fears, being able to relate to someone's anxiety, meeting them where they are. When I tell people what I do for a living, a lot of times I get the reaction of, oh my goodness, how can you deal with people that are dying all the time? My response is, but everybody dies. And if I can make a difference in somebody's life, then I feel like I've done my job. Being a counselor is sort of a way of life. I find that very satisfying to see somebody moving forward. I consider it one of those higher callings. It gives me such a great sense of pride.